Shin Young Jun and a friend are playing indoors. Dong Moon recalls talking with Hyun Nam about the dishonest detective and his influence. The funeral house was initially brought to Dong Moon's attention by Hyun Nam. She expressed her worries that something unlawful was going on in the abandoned funeral home because of the energy being used, Hyun Nam drove her there and they sneaked in. Later, when Dong Moon ran into Yeo Young, she revealed to him her suspicion that Myeon Lo was hiding inside the funeral house. The funeral house had been up for sale for the previous three years, according to her research. It is currently being looked after by the owner of a lottery business. Yeo Young promises to assist her in verifying her suspicions. They purchase the funeral house, confirming their suspicions to be true. The proprietor of the lottery shop is shocked to find that Dong Moon and Yeo Young don't intend to notify the police. On the other side, Shin Young Jun's apparent preservation of Myeon Lua's body astounds Dong Moon and Yeo Young. Dong Moon believes that Shin Young Jun is using the body as personal insurance. She also does not believe that Shin Young Jun's preservation of the remains is a coincidence. According to her, luck has never been on her side. Dong Moon asks how Yeo Young will make up for it when he asks her to allow him to. To be sure they have all the information, Yeo Young suggests they get Yun Jin to his clinic. This is how Hai Jong ended up being used to get Yun Jin to the clinic. Once there, Yeo Young took a sample from Yun Jin's leg wound while she was under anesthesia. Hyun Nam sees Yun Jin in the present and tells her about the person assisting Dong Moon. She describes him as an accomplished young surgeon who owns a clinic in Semyong. Yun Jin panics when she finds that Hyun Nam is talking about Yeo Young and his family controls Ju General Hospital. She begins to see So Hee's ghost after this chat. Her mom, on the other hand, is trembling with fear as she continues to get messages about Yun Jin's murderous escapades. When Shin Young Jun doesn't return her calls, she calls him and then shows up in his office. She complains that she has been receiving threatening calls and texts regarding Yun Jin. Shin Young Jun tells her that he already tracked him down and sent her all the culprit's personal information. She admonishes him for not taking care of it. That is too far, says Shin Young Jun, and she reminds him whose responsibility it is to pay his expenses. She has offended Shin Young Jun, who claims he was mistaken to think they were pals. They are only complicit, so he departs. Where, Jae Jun receives a delivery from Dong Eun. She tells him it is a school newsletter and she has been debating if she should send it to him or Do Young. She ultimately made the choice to send it to him. The USB contains images of Ha Yi Sol that a teacher, Mr. Chu took. After seeing the pictures, Jae Jun runs to the school in a homicidal rage. At school, Dong Eun stops Mr. Chu from taking more photos of the girls. Dong Eun asks him to take a look at the project he ordered her to handle. All this time, Mr. Chu has been getting on her nerves and she has been plotting the best way to get rid of him. As soon as he enters the staff room, Jae Jun smashes Mr. Chu in the head with his camera. He continues to beat him until Ha Yi Sol notices him, at which point he stops. Yi Sol informs her father over the phone of what happened at school. When the police show up, they take Jae Jun to the police station where his attorney tries to calm him down and convince him to settle. Do Young arrives with his lawyer and helps settle the case against Jae Hoon's wishes. Jae Hoon insists on looking into the case of the images as they leave the police station, but Do Young reminds him that he has no rights. He is informed by Jae Hoon that he is Ha Yi Sol's biological father. Meanwhile, Hyun Nam goes shopping with her husband and she informs him that Yun Jin killed two people. He is super excited to hear this information and hurries outside to buy her mangoes. He fails to notice two of Shin Young Jun's men waiting outside planning how to make his death look accidental. Dong Moon meets the gang Song He introduced her to on the other side of town and pays them for their assistance. They previously assisted her in handling Yun Jin's men. She also buys some drugs from them. Sare also finds herself struggling with her drug problems after her parents discover she is still using. Her dad is frustrated that she is ruining his reputation as a pastor. 
Another frustrated parent is Park Sang Im after learning the police have filed a report about the hospital concerning So Hee's body. In a flashback, we see So Hee's mom refusing to have a funeral so that she can get justice for her daughter. Yoo Yoon's dad saw the mom struggle and believed her when she said So Hee didn't commit suicide. This is why he agreed to store the body in the freezer and preserve it. He had hoped things would be handled quickly and the truth will be revealed. Unfortunately, 18 years later and the truth was still hidden and he is dead, can't help with the civil complaint being lodged against the hospital. Luckily, his wife is an amazing woman and she tells of the policeman sent by Shin Yangjun to make sure the body is released from the freezer. Unlike Yi Yoo-young's mom, Dong Eun's mom is set on making her daughter's life miserable. She keeps texting Yi Yoo-young to meet her but he arrives at the set hotel and watches her before leaving. He simply pays her bills and leaves with no introduction. Concurrently, Yeon Jin arrives home and finds Yi Sol's driver at home and Do Young waiting for her inside. He is on the phone with his lawyer who informs him that they have already requested a restraining order against Jae Joon. She demands to know why Yi Sol left school early and went to her grandmother's. Do Young tries to avoid an argument but she insists they talk. He agrees and tells her about the incident with Jae-hoon at school. He tells her that he knows all her secrets and has been holding back. He makes it very clear that Yi Sol is still his daughter even though she is not. Yeon Jin says she was trying to protect their family and he mocks her asking her what exactly she managed to protect with her lies and calls her selfish. He angrily leaves and Yeon Jin drops to the floor. She gets a call from another parent about a voting meeting to kick out a teacher who has been caught in a bribing scandal. She lies she is at work and can't make it to the meeting. The teacher in question is Dong Eun. Dong Eun is hurt by her mother's action to get her kicked out of school. She confronts her mom and they get into a fight that leaves Dong Eun scarred on the face. Dong Eun destroys everything her mom got from the parents and locks herself in the car crying. Jae-hoon arrives at that moment and asks her to get out of the car. He is angry because he thinks she told Do Young and sent him to the police station. Luckily, Yi Young arrives and nearly hits Jae-joon with his car. He pretends to be apologetic, he leaves Jae-joon with his card and gets back in his car. This allows dong Eun to drive off and they go back home. dong Eun is still hurt by what happened with her mom. She had tried to cut ties but her mom refuses to give her peace. Dong Eun stays in her tent while Yi Young paces up and down wondering if she is okay. Dong Eun finally tells him that she is fine and asks why he is pacing outside the tent. He answers that he wants to show her that he is there for her. Dong Eun asks how he found out where she was and he replies that her mom texted him. Dong Eun is still unable to stop crying and he asks her to get some rest. Dong Eun meets with the men she hired while attending church the following morning. They swap a phone that purports to contain pictures that she instructed them to capture in secret. Hyun Nam keeps an eye on Dong Eun while calling Yun Jin to inform her of her activities. Yun Jin that Dong Eun is at Sare parents' church. Using her phone, Dong Eun invites Sare to the Garden of Eden and sends her a picture of the drugs she set in the church. Sare enters the church's underground cellar and consumes the drug because she is powerless to stop herself. She didn't realize that Dong Eun was recording her and shared the video with the parishioners. After watching the video, people begin to leave the church one by one. Her hallucinations start as a result of the medicines. She begins to recall the day she gave Myong Lo Philodio and believes the snake in the Garden of Eden illustrations is Myong Lo. She starts masturbating as a result, and people start taking pictures of her. Dong Eun observes the action but is cut off by Yun Jin. Dong Eun tells her that this part of her revenge took a lot of effort and asks if she liked it. Sare is a first-time offender, and Yun Jin informs her that she will be released shortly. She is confident that Dong Eun will fail to defeat them. Yun Jin should try her hardest not to be brought low, Dong Eun responds. As they talk, Song Hee uploads a story online titled, Exposing Weather Forecaster of Four School Violence. 
Yun Jin gets notifications on the phone of her past bullying incidents. Dong Eun warns that Sarae may get out of her scandal but she won't be as lucky. She calls her a murderer and Yun Jin asks if she has proof. Dong Eun tells her she has no idea and laughs sarcastically.